We wish to talk to you. How can we communicate? My thoughts? You are hearing them? This is interesting. Sometimes the future isn't as far away as we think. Good morning. It's nice to see you again. It may not be as sophisticated as the universal translator on Star Trek, but the Transtech smartphone technology is helping bridge the language gap between U.S. soldiers and the people of Afghanistan. I need to see your ID. Smartphones using the latest generation of two-way real-time voice translation technology convert English into the Afghan language of Pashto and Pashto back into English. I need to take a look in the back. To evaluate the effectiveness of three translation systems from different manufacturers, the Defense Department recently teamed up with experts from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The NIST engineers put the translation devices through a rugged series of tests, 25 different situations that might be encountered by troops in Afghanistan. Testing involved both English and Pashto speakers. The scenarios included vehicle checks and building inspections. Once the testing was completed, participants weighed in on the results. We asked them to fill out surveys and we have a panel of judges that will come in a few weeks to uh, review the videos and uh, more quantitatively assess the performance by counting concepts and seeing how much information was actually passed back and forth. Based on the impressions from the field and the review by the judges, the NIST team is preparing a detailed evaluation of the three translation devices. So the importance of machine translation is it's another tool for U.S. military personnel to use in the field. Uh, unfortunately, there are a shortage of interpreters, a uh, shortage of very reliable interpreters. And machine translation offers a unique tool in the sense that machines don't get tired, people do. With NIST and DARPA teaming up to advance the translation technology of today, perhaps we won't have to wait 300 years for the vision of Star Trek to become reality. It simply translates its findings into English. You mean it speaks? With the voice or the approximation of whatever the creature is on the sending end. Not 100% efficient, of course, but nothing ever is. Ready, Mr. Spock? Quite ready, Captain.